Hey guys, it's Madam Mario. Welcome back to more Let's Play Super Mario Bros. 2, Peach's Pathways. Whatever, I just call her by all of her names now because I get them all wrong anyway and mixed up. We are to the final world of the entire game. This is World 7, and yeah, it's only the third episode of this project. So, as you can see, clearly, if you use the warps I showed you with Peach, you will accomplish beating this game really, really fast. Um, okay, so first thing we need to do is go all the way over here. Um, what in the world was that? Okay, epic immediate fail. That is not what I meant to do. Okay, yeah. Anyway, the first thing you want to do is go all the way over here because that's where um, both mushrooms are. So... And you want to do it quickly, you don't want to just wait for a bunch of birds to fly by. Um, because if you do that, then um, your path's going to get smaller and smaller. Because, as you can see, those birds were dropping bombs and making things blow up. So, here's your first mushroom. It's in this room um, with all these random plants growing on the middle of a brick thingamajig that doesn't make any sense. Big surprise there. This is the first time we're seeing these, like, sparky dudes, too. Um, which is odd, because they have been throughout this game, we just have not seen them. Um, okay. And yes, when you come back out of that doorway, the road will be repaired. Or the bricks, if you will. Where the bombs blew everything up before. It'll be repaired. Oh my god, I did- oh. Stop! Seriously? That's where I get hit? You suck. Okay, so anyway. Um, if you don't, if you want to be like super epic and be like, I didn't have to use anything to beat this game, then you can just do the simple thing and jump on one of those birds immediately. Which is, come on, you, you should get the mushrooms. That's just stupid. You don't need to be an overachiever all the time. I don't understand how she digs up these stupid... Oh my god, am I seriously hit twice already? Okay. I don't understand how she digs up like these... Like... I almost said pirate ships. No. Rocket ships. Out of nowhere. Like, what is that? Okay. Now, this part right here is probably the trickiest part of this entire level. Just because, you know, red shy guys have to go every single way possible. Whereas blue shy guys just walk off the face of the earth and- What? Dude, you weren't there before. You don't get to come back. Oh, wait, he's not gonna walk off the face of the earth? That's kinda weird. Oh, maybe it's the red shy guys that just fall. That's why that's complicated. Thank you. You suck, dude. Ugh, really? No! This is why this is annoying. And it makes you small. Okay, you can't just... What? That didn't even make any sense! Oh my god. Yeah, see how complicated this can be? It can be really, really tricky if you're not careful. And I hate those guys, because they shoot guns with their mouths, and that's just stupid. No one should ever shoot a gun with their mouth. Get. Thanks, pimp. Holy what? Almost hit myself. Oh my god! I need you! Oh my god! I really need- ah! Oh my god, if we could run a little bit faster. Oh, okay. Now everybody decides to glitch out. Are you serious right now? Okay, that was stupid. Everyone glitched out when I got that. Did you guys see that? That sucked! You're super stupid! Okay. Anyway, um, another semi-complicated part due to these guys. Uh, I usually don't kill them though, I just jump over them and immediately get on this ladder. Oh, well that worked. That worked better than I was expecting! That didn't though. Oh, come on now. Shoot your stupid gun and let me be on my way. Thank you. 
Thank god this stupid level's over. So now we have Green Birdo once again. Yep, so he's just gonna shoot fire the whole time and we just have this little cake, this peach's cake to um, shoot at him with. Oh, did I throw it the wrong way, really? Oh my god, I hate when my stupid... I don't know why, like, Peach never wants to throw farther than right next to her. That's gonna help me. Thanks for being all the way over there. Doesn't really matter, though, because we're at the end of the level. Okay, I need extra lives, definitely. So yeah, World 7 really does take a lot of concentration just because of all the madness that happens, especially in this next level because it's actually pretty tedious and very annoying um, just because there's so much going on in a somewhat slow paced environment in my opinion. You have to have a lot of patience yet you have to be like quick on your feet. It's so weird how that works but it's true. Um, okay. Can Oh, never mind. I was looking at something else because I thought I saw a zero like that was our last try and it wasn't but we got a couple lives out of that so that's good that's good at least alright so I don't believe there's anything to our left everything is to our right um, and God, you suck for being obsessed with guns Gah! Ah! Okay, stop. Can you fall? Thank you. Okay. So here we are in a lovely cave. What is this? This isn't a cave. This is like a temple. Which I guess, you know, same thing as I said before. Kind of makes sense with the original game, but here it's just stupid. Okay. No. Huh. Huh. Okay. Let's, let's go. Okay, so there are actually two ways to beat this level. Uh, this is the way my mom always went, so I'm just going to follow her lead and do the same thing this time. Um, I don't know that the other way is necessarily more complicated. I think it more so comes down to personal preference. But, um, yeah, this is just the way I'm used to seeing this done. So that's the way I'm going to do it. And I keep missing all the cherries. What? Okay. Yeah, if you get all these cherries, you will get a star, because after you get six cherries, I believe, I think I might have pointed this out in another episode, you um, will get a star man. Or a star woman. If you're playing as Peach. Um, yeah. So you can see how these parts can be, like, tedious if you are... Um, if you're just... What? Ah! Okay, that was super close. You can see how all these parts would be like super tedious if you waited and didn't move quickly. But at the same time, sometimes if you move quickly, you're going to screw yourself and be like, Oh, I just died really stupidly. But as long as you don't die falling off the edge of a cliff with a POW block, you're okay. So, yeah, here is where I start to get annoyed with a lot of the things happening. And I feel like the controls for this game are set up kind of in an iffy way on parts like this. Um, just because of how easily you can fall off the chains. I don't know if anybody else has really noticed that. That might sound like kind of an excuse, but it's just something I've noticed after playing this game for years. It's like, you always fall off the chains somehow. It's really messed up. See, there's our star for getting a six cherries. Oh my god, are you really not going to come over far enough for me to get you? Okay, I guess not, because you're really cool and you like to be rude to me. Come on, Star. Why do you have to be all the way over there? Okay, whatever. It's not like we're going to need it, necessarily. We've just got this part. This usually has two sparky guys in it, too. I don't know why there's only one right now. It's really weird. And by by that I meant there are usually two where that guy was going around the big circle. Oh my god. Seriously? 
these stupid treadmills. I love how they just like stand there like, I'm not gonna move because it's moving for me. Ah, 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 ah. Fine, hit me. Or kill me. That sounds like a good idea too. I hate that. What am I supposed to do? Okay, well, I won't whine. Okay, let's strategize. Come here, I gotta use you. Yes. I need to use... Okay, dude, you need to go the other way. And mind your own business. Oh my god, I almost just got hit. Okay, that's what I was meaning to do. Even though I took a hit, I still was wanting to do that to kill that Sparky. No, no, no. Okay. Yeah, sorry if my commentary is kind of weird for some parts of this. Um, ha! Ha! Ah! Ha! Are you serious right now? My point is, you you can see why my commentary is stupid right now. Because I'm running into complicated moments of justice. Okay, I cannot die right here. I cannot die right here. Don't let me die, guys. Huh. No way. Oh my god. Chain mechanics. Okay, good. We're to the next room. We should be good now. Ah! Vagina face! What are you doing over there? Okay, I don't know why vagina face is here, but... You shouldn't be here. You should just glitch out, because no one likes you. I don't know what's hidden in that diaper, but I'm thinking... Fine, I won't even tell you what I was thinking, because you have a stupid mouth. You have a second butt for a face. Whatever. We're not going to talk like that, are we? I know, I made a lot of dirty references in the last episode. But, you know, a lot of that's due to frustration. But it's also due to how I grew up seeing this game after a while. I was like, this is super pervy. Maybe that's because my mind is dirty, but, you know. You never know with weird things that have to do with Nintendo logic. Okay, and yes, you died. And see? See what- Okay. Those chains suck. You know what they mean when they're like, That was off the chain. That is not a good thing. And wait till those guys are in time together. Yes. Okay, I really don't like this right now. Oh. Well, that was convenient. That was comfy. Ha! Ah! Oh! I forgot about you, vagina face. Okay, bow, bow. This has given me a lot of trouble right here before. This has been one of the hardest parts of the games for me. Or, of the game for me. Not games. Um, just because of the nature of this battle on the conveyor belt. And how... Oh, come on. I don't know, just how ridiculous it is with the mechanics. See, like, that is so easily missed right there. And throw it away and kill both those guys. That's the easiest way to go about that. Because that flying head's not gonna come after you for a while. The Phantom of the Opera is just gonna chill for a while. Okay, so you'll want to move these two cakes over here, because if you can't tell, this looks way too easy. Um, this is one of those situations you walk into and you're like, really? Final world and that's it? That's all the more they gave us? Cool. Oh wait! Hold on a second. The stupid door is against us now. That's fun. Isn't that fun? Alright. You also want to lure it away from the wall or something, because if you don't, you'll get stuck and you'll have to, to 
hit him in the face again. Okay, but now that we're here, we're at the final boss! Okay. Let's go see it. So I have a theory behind this battle. And it is that... Okay, that was not a good theory right now. What was that? One little bubble? Ah! Why do I keep throwing things? Oh, that's why. I'm not jumping right. And how did this happen? Um, that is that. This guy ate way too much. This is Wart, by the way. He ate way too much. He got gas, and now he's upset about it. Ah! Uh, okay, I need to hold down this button. And not get hit by gas bubbles. So, that way it... Oh, come on! Gosh dang it. Okay, anyway, so that way it kind of makes sense why he has a vegetable machine in his final level. Oh, why did I just do that? Ugh. Oh my god, why did I just do that too? You guys, why am I so stupid with this battle? My mom is so much better at this battle than I am. Because she doesn't do stupid crap like that. Really? Oh, come on now. I am terrible at boss battles in this game. Have you guys been able to tell yet? I'm just terrible at the mechanics. I'm terrible at the battle in general. I just suck at this. Honestly, this is not my forte when it comes to classic Mario games. But, I'm the one who decided to do it, so, you know, I can't... Uh, are you serious? Okay, so yeah. I don't like how this is going right now. I'm sorry. So anyway, yeah, what you'll want to do is jump behind him no matter what. No matter what character you're playing with. Because he will never get you back there. And if you throw a vegetable into one of the bubbles, it will destroy it. Um, because, hello, they're supposed to be like stomach acid, which destroys everything. Oh, how did that not work? You are... You suck right now. You know what, dude? I don't like you. I don't like you at all. Because this battle takes forever for me because I'm not very equipped for it. Uh, because I do stupid crap like that! <sighs> oh my god, I'm so sorry. I suck at this, you guys. I really don't want to do this again. Come on. I don't want to lose all my lives and not beat the game. What? You're going to be lucky to me now. Yes. What just happened? I don't think that got him. Okay, come on. Let's not be stupid. Come on, madam. You know how to do this. You've beaten Bowser 400 million times. If you can beat Bowser, you can beat Wart. I don't know, I feel like you're always really good at one of the classic Mario games and the rest you kind of struggle with. No matter what it is, too. It's like there's going to be that one that you struggle with. Okay, okay. I think I can do it this time, you guys. Ah, I took a hit there, but I'll be okay. I promise I'm not going to be stupid. That's four. We got to hit him two more times. He takes six hits. And then we can officially relax and say this game is over. Um, yes, except for like an extra video that I'm making, but we all know how that goes. That's not as interesting. Yeah! Woo! What? What the F was that? Oh my god, if I would have been tiny, I would have been P.O.'d. Okay, note to self, don't run into him when he's dying. Yay! I didn't even know I could move right there. Yay for freeing pixies! Hmm, so cute. And so that's how Tiny Peach rescued... How did she get big all of a sudden? Alright, contributors. Princess Peach. That's horrible. He's like all bloody. 
All we did was throw vegetables in his mouth. We didn't beat him up. Oh, but they did, so... Oops. Sorry, I didn't do it. Don't blame me. So yeah, I love how Japanese pixies have, like, black hair. These Japanese people have dark hair. But if it were over here, a pixie would have, like, blonde hair like Tinkerbell. Weird thing to think about. I don't know why I just said that, but... Cool. Oh my god, and you guys, this music... One of my top three favorite Nintendo songs ever made. No joke, it's in the top three. If you guys have seen Madame Mario TV top ten favorite Nintendo songs, you know this is in the top three. One of the best songs ever written for Nintendo, in my opinion. Alright, so it all was a dream. After all, we saw the beginning and what it said about the story, and you kind of can get that from the beginning. There's Princess, yep. And there's Toad, my favorite! Even though Toad, Luigi, and Mario are more difficult to beat the boss battle with. I've still beaten the game with all of them, but, you know. Okay, so now we have the entire cast of everyone and the names that I don't call them, usually. Aw, Tweeter, like Twitter right now. Bomb Mom looks really weird in that picture. Um, I used to love this part when I was little, because I loved seeing all the names, because, like, you know, I'm terrible at remembering names anyway. Flurry! I'm terrible at remembering these names, so I was always infatuated by this part. Um, seeing them. And I butcher a lot of their names, too, by just calling them something weird. I do know Pokey, though, because he's in so many games. Uh, Birdo and Ostro, which... I think it's correct on the NES version, but I think they messed it up for the Super NES version. Unless it's wrong on that version, too. I can't remember, but... Fry Guy! He's my favorite boss, but... I think I've seen him, like, once in my life. No, I've seen him more than that, but I never played against him. <laughs> no. I'm just watching my mom. And there's Wart, the equivalent of Bowser. He's like, he truly is a pimp, though. He's wearing, like, a chain with, like... He's like a real pimp. Yay! The end! And push start. Okay, you guys, so this has officially been Madame Wario finishing Super Mario Bros. 2 Princess Pathways. You can beat the game very quickly if you use all the pathways I showed you. I think what I'm gonna do is make another video to follow this. It will probably be very short. Um, you know, depending on how much I can fit into it or how I edit it will kind of determine how short it is, but I'm thinking it's going to be very short. So, I'm going to show off the other worlds and just like the, or I want to show off the other worlds and the passageways and warps inside them, um, in case you want to complete more than what I showed and use a different warp somewhere else. Um, so I'll show that off next weekend, and then that'll be the official end of the project, I think. So, yeah, and that'll be kind of like a mashed up video. That won't be like me going through the entire level and pointing stuff out. So, um, yeah, keep an eye out for that. But other than that, thank you for watching this uh, mini project that's pretty much complete right now, other than the extra stuff. So, yeah, I officially played as Princess Toadstool Peach Sucko. So yeah, I am officially finished looking at her. Well, until I have to record this next week. That's weird. Okay, anyway, before I keep this video going for too much longer, peace out, pimps.